What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Henry and this is Henry SBTV. Now for today, I'm actually very, very excited about the video we're about to see. And the reason why is because not too long ago, we made a video about the Outriders, you know, kind of like the story, the gameplay, mechanics and everything. And now we're going to go in more details on one of their classes, which is the Tricksters. Now, this is actually one of my favorite ones because, you know, being able to bend time and space, who wouldn't, right? But anyways, um, I think I'm talking too much. But, you know, what I really want to focus on today is kind of like the powers that will be available for this class, you know, some of the customization, skill trees, etc. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with game releases and gaming news that are going out there. I also want to take a moment to thank everyone who has participated in the comments and that has subscribed recently to this channel. That really means a lot. But anyways, let's jump on the video. I hope you like it. Now, in our previous video called Everything You Need to Know About the Outriders, I provided a general view of this game and what it is about. We talked a little bit about the story and how things begin to unravel once humanity arrives into Enoch. So if you haven't checked that video yet, I'll drop the link up here on the screen and on the description below so you can check it out. So this is everything that you need to know about these so-called tricksters and I'm super excited to be talking about this as I know I'll be able to cover some of this new information on this video and I want to do the same for the rest of the classes, but it will be happening on its given time, but for now I just want you to enjoy this video. The main noticeable feature is that this class can bend time and space, all of this thanks to the anomaly that altered them after they arrived into Enoch. Now let's begin by talking on how this game is being developed. Being a shooter action game with a lot of RPG involved, I am very very surprised to see how many options are available to customize your character. And not only that, but really to understand how the game mechanics will work for each class. Now, if we take a look on how the tricksters plan and how it works, one of their main aspects is that they are healing process while in the game. Like tricksters are meant to be in the, you know, like the thickest parts of the battle as they heal by killing enemies at short range. While in other games, you know, probably players will heal either as time goes by or by standing still under cover, hidden, your maximum health will start to regenerate. However, on this game, tricksters will actually be able to recover their health by going into the battle and really fighting for their lives. Although, you know, you will have a lot of options, a lot of tricks and attacks at your disposition to truly take everything to your advantage and to experience the gameplay to the fullest, which basically takes me to the first stage of this video that I want to focus on. Now, talking about the powers for the trickster, you know, each class will have eight powers independently and in total. Now, all of these powers will be unlockable as you progress into the game. And at first, you will only begin using one. Now, let's take a look at the first four that have been revealed so far for the trickster. Now, the first power that I want to focus on is called Temporary Slice. Now, this attack will paralyze every single enemy that gets hit by the slice, not to mention it also generates a pretty cool visuals as it exposes the skeleton of your enemies. All enemies that are touched by the slice will actually be paralyzed, giving the trickster an advantage and an edge to be able to attack and potentially allowing you to heal as you heal while you kill enemies at close range. Now the second attack I want to focus on is called Borrow Time. Now this will instantly get a percentage of your maximum health and be used as a shield which will absorb the damage before your health is actually affected. Now using this power will create kind of like what it's called a time clone of yourself in the location that this was activated. Now. You know, you will be able to walk through, get far, you know, get towards the action and be able to, you know, fight. But using it again while your clone is still active will teleport you back to the point that this was created, giving you the opportunity to escape should you encounter yourself in a tight situation. Now, the third power is called Slow Trap and using this power will create a dome around you and will impact time and space. And this is what I was talking about. This is why the Trickster is actually my favorite class on the Outriders. And I don't know about you, but maybe you can mention that on the comments as well. What's your favorite class 
Anyways, so inside this DOM, you know, it will slow everything that is inside and will give the advantage to you and your allies while in combat and allow you to kind of like, you know, capture targets, you know, large groups of enemies. And this power comes also very handy in the event that you have to resurrect one of your teammates so use it wisely and in the appropriate time my advice is like if you're going to use it use it while you know being with a large group of enemies since this will allow you to kill a lot of them at the same time or it will allow you to also escape if you need to now the next power is called hunt the prey such a cool name being hunting now what it does basically is that it highlights any visible enemy and if you use it a second time it will teleport you directly behind them giving you the opportunity to sneak up on them and be able to successfully take down groups or even one single enemy if you wish to. Now this allows you to gain a percentage of your health and use it as a shield. Anyway, something very interesting is that you can combine all of these powers to create like a more powerful chain of events. Now you can also alter any power at any time during the game. <laughs> Just make sure that this is done while being undercover. Otherwise, if you start changing every single power that you have at your disposition, you can potentially receive a lot of damage from your enemies. So hey, what's your favorite power that will be available for the trickster? I know we have only covered four because the other one are still not available. And I guess, you know, that's kind of like the surprise element. But anyways, maybe you can tell me on the comments what's your favorite one and what you think about that. Now, talking a little bit about altering your character, your trickster, even though if you select a trickster to play as, you know, you need to be mindful that the way you spend your skill points as you progress into the game will actually determine your type of gameplay and your game mode. Anyways, you know, you can actually select the set of skills that will allow you to also be a tank, you know, add more strength into your character. The main branches that will be available for the trickster are movement, damage and disruption. Talking a little bit about movement, you know, master of space. Tricksters actually are able to move from one space to another one, teleport. So it is very important that you develop and enhance this movement speed it will work towards close range and in close combat that this will become more handy right talking about another branch damage or harbinger more damage mitigation that means that your shield bonuses will be enhanced this is to provide you with the maximum survival instinct and of course the third one which is the disruption everything that has to do with dealing damage has to do with this skill branch this is what i was talking a second ago if you decide to go with the skill tree and develop this branch basically you will also have a trickster who can bend time and space but also inflict a lot of damage which will also become handy while in the battlefield now you can actually update this at any time in the later future you know so that you can experience a different approach a different type of gameplay depending on your selection something else that they have incorporated depending on the equipment that you have it will also impact the skills that will be available to you as some of the guns might be more heavier than others, it could impact their movement and so on, but there's not too much information about that. Anyways, just be mindful that that's also something that's coming on the game, that the equipment that you have will have an impact directly on your skill. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. This has been everything for me today. I hope to see you on our next one, and I will make sure to drop the links on our description to our social media so that you can stay up to date with what's happening in our upcoming videos. As well, I'm going to drop the link to our Twitter channel where we do live streams every monday wednesday friday from 9 30 p.m to 11 30 p.m cst all right i hope to see you there and i hope to see you on our next video take care everyone goodbye